So good afternoon everyone. For today, I will be discussing about the Spain literature. But before that, let me introduce myself. I am Licar Parinas and taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Filipino. So let's start the discussion. So what to discuss? So my topic is consists of three parts. The history of Spain, authors of Spain, and the literary text examples. So, before I start, let me uh, give you some heartwarming saying of Pablo Picasso, which is, La acción es la clave fundamental para todo éxito. Which means in English that action is the foundational key to all success. So, let's know first the geographical location of Spain. So, the Spain is located in extreme southwestern Europe, occupying the majority of the Iberian Peninsula. Its capital and largest city is the Madrid. It was ruled by a monarch throughout the history. The population, approximately 48 million as of July 2016, based on the data. So, let's proceed to the language of Spain. So the Spanish is spoken all over the country and the only language with official status nationwide. But there are three regional languages that have been declared co-official. The first one is the Castilian. It used in the Basque country and the Navarre. Next is Catalan. It is used in the regions of Catalonia, Valencian and Balearic island and the last is Galician it is used in Galician region so let's proceed to the religion of Spain so like the other country the Spain is also has no official religion so there are 73% of Spaniards self identify as Catholic 20% as atheist or non-religious 7% practice other religion so Let's know the economy of Spain. So the Spanish economy has steadily surpassed that of its European counterparts over the last five years in pre-pandemic circumstances. With a GDP of $1.2 billion, Spain is the fourth economy of the EU, save for that of the United Kingdom and the 14th in the world. So let's start the story of Spain. So Spanish literature generally refers to literature such as Spanish poetry, prose, and drama. It is written in the Spanish language within the territory that presently constitutes the state of Spain. Its development coincides and frequently intersects with that of other literary traditions from regions. Within the same territory, particularly Catalan literature, Castilian literature, Galician intersects as well with Latin, Jewish, and Arabic literary traditions of the Iberian Peninsula. So the story of Spain has been marked by all types of events, wars, conquests, marriages, deaths, and the literature has played an important part in it. From the epic tale of the Cantar del Mio said to the surrealism present in some of Salas' works from the amazing adventures of Don Quixote to the mini box recounting the horrors of the Spanish Civil War, Spanish literature has had its own way of influencing history. Literature is a very important subject in all Spanish schools and the site is guide to the evolution of Spanish literature across the centuries. So now, let's proceed to the Spanish literature. Muzara dialect, also known as Jarchas, it is the first Spanish literature consists of 40 or 50 love lyrics. Mozarabic also called Andalusian Romance. It is um, refers to the medieval romance varieties spoken in the Iberian Peninsula in territories controlled by the Islamic Emirate of Cordoba and its successors. They were the common tongue of the majority of the population in Muslim Iberia initially. However, over time, these varieties receded in front of Andalusian Arabic in Al Andalus, and as the Reconquista progress merge with Spanish, Catalan, and Portuguese in the Christian kingdoms. 
there is at least one area of southern Spain, the Emirate of Granada, where Mozarabic is thought to have disappeared altogether before the Christian conquest. The final disappearance of these varieties dates to around the 13th century. So, Cantar de Gesta or Epic Poem. The poem of the Cid portrays Spain's national hero. So, a Cantar de Gesta is the Spanish equivalent of the old French medieval chanson de Geste or the songs of the heroic deeds. So, now let's proceed to the history. So, the history of Spanish literature starts with El Cantar del Mio said in 12th century. The first written Testimonies of Spanish literature began in the 13th century with the Middle Ages literature, in which cultivated all the genres in prose, poetry, and theater. The end of Middle Ages, sometimes known as Pre-Renaissance period, is a very prolific time for Spanish literature, with the development of works like Coplas la Muerte, Di Padre, and La Celestena. During the Renaissance, the influence of Italy in Spain was very strong and thus the religion's influ influences. So during this period, there is a big production of religious works with authors such as Fray Luis de Leon or San Juan de la Cruz. Pastoral or didactic novels were also quite popular and the Picaris genre became popular with Lazarillo de Torms. The, so the Spanish Baroque coincides with the golden age of Spanish literature. In this state, it is called that way because of the great number of excellent literary productions that appeared in the period. Miguel, de, uh, Miguel del Cervantes is without doubt that ultimate Baroque author. His masterpiece, The Adventures of the Mad Knight, Don Quixote, is considered the most important book of the Spanish literature and one of the most in the universal literature. Other important authors in this period are the poet Quevedo and the play writer Lope, Lope de Vega. So the Enlightenment period in Spanish lit literature can be divided in three different periods. The post-Baroque period, the neoclassical period, and the pre-Romanticism Romanticism period. The Enlightenment wants a break with the old concept of authority and thinks Reason is more important than feeling or emotions. This is why this period doesn't have a strong poetry group. In prose, he says, and didactic texts are the most popular types of works, especially among liter literates. Newspapers help to spread the knowledge of other U European countries around Spain. So now let's proceed to the Romanticism. It appears as a reactions against the strict rules of the Enlightenment and in opposition to it. It places more importance in feelings than reason. Romanticism can be divided into two different movements, the tra traditional and liberal romanticism. So the traditional romanticism defends the traditional values represented by the church and state. And the liberal romanticism fights the established orders, religions, arts, and politics and claims the rights of individual to society and the laws to the realism. So the realis realism appears when literates have grown tired of the subjectism of romanticism and are looking for something more real. They were tired of the imaginative and colorful and sought to observe the people, society, and the contemporary traditions objectively. Its goal was to present the truest portrait of society. So, in the 20th century, it is the century of great change in Spain. There is not a specific movement. Rather, every author develops his or her own personal style. Novels become the most popular genre and social themes are very common, especially those related to life in Spain during the Spanish Civil War and the following dictatorship. There are three important generations of writers during the 20th century that configures the Spanish literature of that period. So the first one is the Generation 98. It's the name used to bring together a group of Spanish writers, essayists, and poets that were profoundly affected by the moral, social, and political crisis in Spain caused by the military defeat against the U.S. and which meant 
the loss of Cuba, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines in 1898. This generation of writers made a great contribution to the Spanish language and Del. They are still considered some of the best writers of the 20th century. So the generation of 14. Around 1910, the modernists and the writers of the Spanish generation of 98 had already produced their best results. A new generation of writers arrived on scene. Generation of 14, this name groups certain writers that don't fit in the generation of 98 or the generation of 27. These authors don't have a group conscience, but they do share some features. They were intellectuals with a will to teach the minorities and their reflections on Spain are more serene and objective than those of the generation of 98. Also, they had uh, started their literary activity during the 20th century and had reached their maturity around 1914. So the last one is the generation of 27. So the Spanish generation of 27 is the last generation of authors before the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War, which would wipe out almost totally the cultural and literary life of Spain for its duration and most of the following dictatorship. So this generation is also considered the best poetry generation of the Spanish literature, with incredible figures like Federico Garcia Lorca or Rafael Alberti, and it studied as such in most of the schools in Spain. So now let's proceed to the 10 famous authors in Spain literature. Number one is Miguel de Cervantes. He was born on September 29, 1547 at Alcala de Henares, Spain. He died on April 22, 1616 at Madrid. He was a Spanish novelist, playwright, playwright and poet. He received the awards of Miguel de Cervantes Prize. His famous um, works are Don Quixote, Novelas Exemplaris 1613, Exemplaris Tourist. His themes are Chilbari, Chivalry, Romance, and Sanity. So let's start at the beginnings, in this case, the beginning of modern literature, widely regarded as the greatest Spanish language writer of all time. Miguel de Cervantes pioneered the modern novel with his masterpiece, Don Quixote, published in 1605. The story tells the, the tale of the disenchanted Spanish nobleman who sets up to revive chivalry and brings justice to the world. While the novel is now considered one of the greatest of all times, Cervantes enjoyed little popularity during his lifetime and was even imprisoned, imprisoned at one point of bankruptcy. So the next one is Arturo Perez Riberte. He was born on November 24, 1951. Born in the ancient Roman port today known as Cartagena in the province of Murcia, Spain, Arturo. He was awarded as Goya Award for the Best Adapted Screenplay 1993, the, the Fencing Master, Grand Prix de, de Literature, Policiere, International Category 1993, The Flanders Panel. His famous works are The Flanders Panel, The Club Domas, The Fencing Masters, The Civil Communion, and The Nautical Chart. Queen of the South, What We Become, his themes was about fiction and non-fiction. This contemporary journalist and author is best known for his series of novels following the adventures of Captain Alatresti, a 17th century soldier in the Spanish Golden Age. The author is said to have found the inspiration for his novels in his disappointment at the lack of literary coverage of the time. His historical works of fiction appeal to a wide audience and he has been recognized internationally for his works. So the next one is Federico Garcia Lorca. 
He was born on June 5, 1898, Fuente Baqueros, Granada Province, Spain. Died August 18 or 19, 1936 between Biznar and Alpacar, Granada Province. He was a Spanish poet and playwright who in a career that spanned just 19 years. He received the awards of notable chil children's books. His title, uh, his title famous works are The Shoemaker's Prodigious Wife, The House of Bernarda Albaf. His themes are the capriciousness of time, the destructive powers of love and death, and phantoms of identity, art, childhood, and sex. So Federico Lorca is a founding member of Spain Generation of 27, an avant-garde movement from the mid 1920s. Federico Garcia Lorca is one of the country's most celebrated playwrights and poets of all time. In his early life, he wrote the flamenco, gypsies, and rural life. With Andalusian culture occupying an important part in his work throughout his life, Famously, the authors was killed by fascist nationalist forces when he was 38 and his body has never been recovered. So the next authors, or author is Rafael Alberti. He was born in December 16, 1902, Puerto de Santa Maria, Spain. He died on October 28, 1999 in Puerto de Santa Maria. He was a Spanish writer of Italian Irish ancestry. He received the awards of Silver Condor in 1946, Best Screenplay Adapted, La Dama du Duende in 1945. His famous works are Moreno en Tierra in 1925 and Alba del Algele in 1927, Cal Canto in 1928. So his themes are the longing for their land, the social claim. So, Rafael Alberti is another member of the generation of 27. He started up as a painter before abandoning, abandoning his studies and turning to poetry. His first compilation of poems, Marin, Marinero en Tierra, received the National Prize for Spanish Literature and he gained recognition in the literary circles of Madrid. Later in life, he declared himself a Marxist and throughout the Civil War, he was politically active and went into exile until the death of Franco. So the next author is Juan Ramos Jimenez. He was born on December 24, 1881, Moguer, Spain. Died May 29, 1958 at San Juan, PR. He was a Spanish, Spanish poet. He received the award of Nobel Prize for Literature in 1956. His famous works are Sonetos Espiritual Spiritualis, 1914 to 1915, Fedra y Cielo, 1919, Hosea en Prosa y Verso, 1932, Voces de mi Copla, 1945, Animal de Fondo, 1947. So his themes are vague feelings, melancholy, music and drain colors, as well as memories and amorous daydreams. Next author is Rosalia de Castro. She was born in February 1837, Santiago de Compostela, Spain. She died July 15, 1885, Padron, near Santiago. She was the most outstanding modern writer in the Galician language, whose work is of both regional and universal significance. She received the awards, Excellent Cruz Awards. Her famous works are Cantares Gallegos, 1863, Folas, Novas 1880 and Las Aurelias del Sar 1884. Her themes are remorse, repressed desire, the anguish of living, the desolation of spiritual loneliness, fear of death, the transcience of affection, the feeling that everything is in vain. So she was one of the first female authors to gain national recognition. Rosal uh, Rosalia de Castro was born to a wealthy family in Galicia but had a troubled life marked by family crisis and illness. She is most admired for her bold and unexpected mood to the Galician language in her writing, as well as her defections of the harsh living conditions of the four. It is said that feeling of saudade transpires in her work. A Portuguese 
word that has no direct translation but describes a sense of nostalgic yearning and sadness. So the next author is Carlos Ruiz Zapon. He was born on September 25, 1964, died in 19, died in June 9, 2020. He was a Spanish novelist. He received the award, Barry Awards for Best First Novel. His famous works are El Principal de la Niebla, 1993, um, El Palacio de la Medianoche, 1994, Las Losses de Septiembre, 1995, Marena en 1999. His themes are Madness, Doom, Domed Love, and Scientific Experiments Gun Ari. So, Carlos Ruiz Zapon, one of the most successful contemporary authors of his time. He has been translated into more than 40 different languages and published in more than 45 countries worldwide. His famous work is La Sombra del Vento, The Shadow of the Wind, published in 2001, and set in the fictional Barcelona. It follows the adventures of Daniel Shemperi in his quest to track down as mysterious destroyer of books. Since then, he has written a pre prequel to the novel El Juego del Angel, and is set to add four more novels to the series. So the, the next author is Peo Baroja. He was born in San Sebastian in 1872. He was a novelist and founding member of the generation of 1898. He received the awards of 1959 Nobel Prize in Sociology or Medicine. His famous works are La Locha for La Veda, Tierra Basca, La Casa de it's Gori, El Mayorazgo de Labras, Zalakain El Abuentoriro, La Vasca, Aurora Roja. His themes is about personal failure. As what I've said, he was a member of Generation of 1898, a group of authors and poets who wrote during the time of the American War, when Spain lost many of its important colonies on the American continent, he eventually dedicated himself to his true passion and published his first novel in the 1990s. His most acclaimed work is a trilogy called La Locha por la Beda, which depicts the life of the working classes in Madrid's slums. So the next author is Ana Maria Matote. She was born in July 26, 1925 at Barcelona, Spain. She died June 25, 2014 at Barcelona. She was a Spanish novelist. Received the award of Cervantes Prize last 2010. Her famous works are Los Abel, Los Soldados, Loran de Noche. Her themes are chivalry, idealism, poverty, and prejudice. So, Ana Maria Matote is a member of the Spanish Royal Academy. She was the third woman to receive the Cervantes Prize for the literature. She was born shortly before the outbreak of the Civil War. The events that unfolded throughout her childhood had profound impact on her writing, lending a pessimistic age, and she went on the considered one of the most influential authors of the post-guerra or post-war period. So the last author is Miguel de Libes. He was born on October 17, 1920, Baladulid, Spain. Died March 12, 2010, Baladulid. He was a Spanish nobilist, essayist, and journalist. He received the awards of National Literature Award, Critics Award, National Literature Award, Prince of Asturias, or the Cervantes Award. His famous works are El Camino, La Jura Ruja, Cinco Horas con Mario, Las Guerras de Nuestros Antipasados, and El, He El Herige. So, his themes is about depiction of rural life. So, considered for the Nobel Prize of Literature on numerous occasions, 
Miguel de Lebes was the best known for his heart heartfelt depictions of rural Spain and the life of daily struggles of the common man. So, in his free time, he loved to hunt and his knowledge of the wildlife and vegetation of Spain shined through in his novels. The highest point in his career came in the 1960s when he published Vieja's Historias de Castilla la Vieja and the autobiographical Las Ratas. Famously, modest, he avoided the limelight whenever possible and following the death of his wife, lived an isolated life until his death in 2010. So now let's proceed to the literary text of Spain literature. So in the literary text, I choose three examples of um, famous literary texts in Spain literature, which is novel, poetry, and story. So in the novel, I choose the Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes, the poetry, A Course of Islands by Eledio La Torre Ligaris, and the story is The Giraffe by M. Sineses. So that's all for my topic. Thank you for listening and God bless.